What's going on, guys? Crow here, and welcome to uh, I hope to a quick episode of GTA 5, episode 6. Um, I was studying for my midterm, and I thought to myself, you know, I promised you two videos on Twitter, uh, so I kind of felt bad. So hopefully, we can do a mission or two, get this episode out there, and yeah, move on with the story. But I want to actually dedicate this episode to a subscriber of mine who actually donated uh he heard about my dual shock problems and he actually donated for me to get a new one so uh thank you very much T goes to abhi yep thank you very much my man um it's awesome that subscribers get involved i mean it makes it makes the channel better so thank you very much again it's just a cool thing so without further ado let's get going uh and also if you guys enjoy this video be sure to leave a like um it would be amazing be sure to subscribe because as soon as i get my hands on dark souls 2 I will start my let's play, so that's going to be freaking amazing. But on the last episode, I kinda left you with a cliffhanger because we were supposed to go to Leicester's, but we didn't. So let's go there now. Um, Leicester is obviously a key figure in the storyline, so uh, this should be fun. He's a very abstract type of dude. Let me actually mark his location um, on the map. Okay, there he is. Boom. Lester's house. So I'm going to try to make this uh, kind of a quick episode because I want to go back to studying. But again, I felt bad, so I wanted to make this video. It's kind of late, so that's why I'm talking a little bit low. And that's why I smack into other cars. Um, I'm still using my old DualShock 3, so in case you see a jump cut, that might be due to the fact that it's simply broken. <laughs> that it started spazzing out. But I don't want to... Actually, for this last part, let's actually put some... I'll uh, put some radio on. What do we have here? Let's put some classics on. There we go. Some nice music in the background. Funky. Yeah, I like listening to radio. Dri driving around without a radio in GTA 5 is weird. In general, in any GTA. Unless I put, like, my own music. You know what I'm saying? With my own music, then I can drive no problem. Some of those radio stations, like the uh, what is it called? This one. Yeah, it's talk radio. It, this shit is fucking hilarious, man. They talk about the most crazy shit, and my love for uh, GTA Radio actually started with GTA Vice City. They had this talk show. Uh, with this lady with like um, she was a supposed like magician voodoo princess or whatever oh my god it was just the funniest crap ever where am I going yeah I was going the right way why did it tell me to go the other way so it was just fucking hilarious man so I started listening to uh, like the radio from then on and San Andreas and, and all the all the GTAs because I never really paid attention you know can I like jump off you, please? Thank you. The maniac driving. We there we go. That's a nice little shortcut there for us. And yeah, actually, I think I know which mission this is gonna be. So we're gonna get done with this mission, and we should be golden. A nice little episode. It may even be um, a bit on the longer side, but whatever. We shall see. Yeah, this is a big ass, long ass drive to Leicester's. I, I don't remember being this. But maybe because, you know, during like my regular Let's Plays, I don't commentate, concentrate more on the road, and I just simply drive faster. So I think that's the case. Who are you screwing with? Did you guys hear that? Oh my god. You should give this uh, radio station a listen. You hear that? I shoved the phone up my ass and smuggled it. <laughs> bullshit charge, triple homicide. Okay, that's a bullshit charge. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Let's go meet Lester. Is that his house? Or this? Yeah, this is his house. You, Lester. You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. I was wondering when you'd show up. 
I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're gonna make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean... I need something done, you need to know something, so... Why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. Well, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. I heard him say that he saved America. What, by, by outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white-collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag, and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism. And brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Just like the old days. <coughs> okay, so that nerd was Lester. There you guys go, you met Lester. He's part of the crew, man. Part of the crew. Where's my car? So what we have to do is real talk. Get changed. That's what exactly what we have to do. So let's get going. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go try to go fast and actually screw this because I can't like I can't get my thoughts together with this radio because I want to listen to it. Um, so yeah, we have to infiltrate a certain I don't know organization or whatever firm or. or company we have to do that and we have to look like a college student so you guys heard Lester man Lester laid it out uh, on us so we have to go change to look the part and then we have to go get what we have to do and this is a cool mission you guys will see why it's really interactive too that's why I love about GTA 5 GTA 5 is just so goddamn well designed man there's always, trust me, even when the PS4 was out, there was, uh, you know, it still is a big dry season for the next-gen consoles, right? And, uh, oh yeah, and I shit you not, I once hit a sports car in this, uh, you know, whatever, so the driver died, spun out of control, smacked into a wall, and the car exploded. <laughs> but I'm telling you, even when I was, when I had the PS4 and I had Ghosts and Battlefield 4 and all the other games, there was just such a goddamn dry season that I always ended up playing uh, GTA Oops. yeah I'm sorry too that I always ended up playing GTA, far, GTA 5 because it's just so goddamn addicting ah, excuse me I got this interview at this tech company I'm thinking I need something I don't know geeky youthful lost your job and the world's moved on huh that's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Hmm? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? Alright. So let's get a vest and a cargo shorts. Which one should we buy? Hmm. Eh, I never picked this one. I just picked this one with the fruit bowl symbol. <laughs> okay, let's save it. Sure. Good luck at the interview. Goodbye. Oh, I already had cargo shorts. Okay, but I have goddamn flip flops. 
I hate wearing flip flops in real life and in the game. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe not all flip flops, just the ones with the like Japanese Asian style ones. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's Michael, let's be quiet now. I'm all dressed up. Now you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. Okay. So we have to act entitled. I'm gonna act like a douchebag. Actually, not really. Okay, so now we look the part. We have everything that we need, and now we need to infiltrate. <laughs> And this is gonna be like the most anticlimactic infiltration ever. <laughs> you guys will see. God damn, this game is good. I'm never gonna stop praising it because it's so damn good. <laughs> okay, so this is where we have to go. What the hell did I do to my tooth? That's fine. Okay. Let's go. PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's. Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? <sighs> my union allocated smoke bricks bowed up, so. Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I I T temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Ah, uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. Okay. So let's follow the programmer. And let's listen to what he has to say. Look at this place. This is like a typical. I think, yeah, they they try to play off something like Google offices or like those fun computer science or or like those fun design offices. You know what I mean? Like with arcades and stuff, bean bags, people complaining about soy milk. Actually, people arguing over soy milk or whatever hemp milk or whatever it is that it's gonna be. Oh shit! This is it. Oh my god. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. Oh my god. Ah, <laughs> oh, you've been <laughs> added on this PC. Yeah, uh, let's go with this broken ass analog. I think we have so. to close all the pop-ups. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. And yeah, fucking, yeah, get the antivirus. Out. You know, my son's computer uh. runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups, see what I can do. Your son codes? Start him early, bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. After that, it's just a hack job. Listen to the sounds. What am I supposed to click? Rocking out might get okay, you, there you in go. the right headspace. There it goes. Might I tempt you with some organic chow or a fair trade java? Exterminate, if only it was that easy. And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. Okay. So let's go to the prototype. As you guys can see, these guys are weird. Uh, this this entire game is just like a one big movie. Um, this is how you have to treat it. Like an action filled Hollywood production, you know? Oh, nice. Well, that was fairly easy. We left our backpack. But we can get out now. Too bad you can't run. Dude, when it blue screens again, you're my guy. Bye. But I guess they want you to get the full, like, I don't know, experience of the offices. You can't run here. 
This guy's getting fucked up by a hacky sack. Okay, so this was a nice little episode. Let's finish up this mission, and I will exactly call it an episode. Let's get out. I still can't run. Oh. Okay, goodbye, lady. Thank you. There we go. Now, where the hell is my car? Okay, let me just take this one. It doesn't matter. I'm supposed to go home, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I am. Hey, Michael, hold on, hold on. Down, they down you, Lester. The thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend. Lester, did you hear me? Oh shit. Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, the phone is rigged. And what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic fine. Shooters, Classic they're all the same. Ah, you see what they did there? You see what Rockstar did there? A little slant on Call of Duty and perhaps hey, Battlefield, you know? I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Now, ah, whatever you say, enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. Okay. What the fuck with fame or shame? Let's change the channel. I actually think that uh, GTA 4 had more channels, uh, if I if I do recall. Uh, this only has like two or three. I can't remember. This company has come a long okay, so here comes the cool part. I'm gonna shut up for a second. In East Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination! We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we're about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. <laughs> you saw that? The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A now we gotta call him. You see how the phone reacts on the like device. on the big screen and on the small one when Mike was holding it? That's pretty cool. Oh, hold on a second. I think someone's trying to talk with me. Hello? Oh, oh shit. Oh, Jesus! Whoa! Let's... Whoa! There you guys go. That was a pretty sweet ass mission, right? And that's quite literally it. But it was fun, right? We got to infiltrate in a pretty lame way, but still, we got to infiltrate. 50%? What the fuck? This maid says some hilarious shit. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. Let me just see if Lester calls us uh, just for the last second. This episode wasn't that bad. It wasn't that short, right? But let me see if Lester's gonna call us. Yep. <laughs> Lester! That was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know, the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look. Okay, there you guys go. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode. I'm gonna go 
uh, to my bedroom and actually change because I don't like this outfit. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you on the next episode. Take care.